Okay, Hitman Rule here. I'm gonna show you how to create your own mod. So first of all, you wanted to go to Minecraft Mod Coder Pack, the first one, MCP.OceanLabs, and it should show this MCP releases. Want to get the newest version right here, and then download it, which I already did, which is right here. So what you want to do is open it. Let's close that. Extract it to a new folder, which I will call MCP, short for Mod Coder Pack. There. Now here it is. What you want to do is open your jars and go into your Minecraft. It cannot be a, a modded Minecraft. It has to be a completely cleaned out one. So you just want to copy the bin and resources and paste them into your MCP. Okay, close all that out. Then you want to go to your command prompt. Just CMD for Vista and um, Vista and Windows 7. See right there. Or you can go to run. Oh, I think I did the wrong one. There it is. Run. And go to CMD right there. Press enter. So we should show this. Type in Javac, which is Java with a C at the end. No spaces. And it should say Javac is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program, or batch file. And that's okay. We're going to fix that. So, what you want to do. Go to your computer, right click it, go to properties, click advanced system settings, close that out, go to environment variables, and then scroll down to path, not path text, path, and click OK. Oh, no, never mind, don't click OK. Double click it. Yeah, double click. There, you should show this, all your stuff right here. What you want to do is do a semicolon to separate the variable stuff. So then what you want to do after that is go into your MCP, go to your docs, and go to whichever one you have. But the basic is readme MCP for Windows. Then what you want to do is right here, you want to copy this. But the latest version that you had downloaded is the 25 not the 24 JDK so just copy that and close it don't really need to save you can close that then paste it and it should be right there like that click OK and then click OK and all of them then go back to your command prompt if you type in Javac again it comes with all this stuff that means it knows where it is and it can identify it. So now that's clear. We go into our MCP. What we can do is now mod. That's basically it. So what you want to do is decompile that. Just wait for it to go. It takes a little while. takes a while to decompile it which is what you want to do first take a while okay still taking a while there it goes now it's doing something else finally still waiting and zipping in the client jar. Applying Jad Retro. Decompiling. Applying patches, renaming sources. 
Yeah, right there, how it says it's renaming the sources. How if you go into your Minecraft, your bin, open the jar with Archiver, you'll notice that it's a bunch of weird letters and all that. Just two letters and one letter stuff. That's what it's doing. It is changing it and fixing it. See right here? It says missing Minecraft server dot jar file aborting. It's just skipping the server decompiling, but it always decompiles the client, which is your Minecraft self. Then it recompiles it to be able to use. And now it's done. Press any any key you should make a couple new folders. Then if you go into source, Minecraft net, Minecraft uh source again. And here's all the stuff. See what it did is it renamed it all. So everything is here. This is for the new beta 1.6.6. So some new stuff like the map. Uh, and you do need to update it or else it won't work if there's another version out with the update mcp.bat right here and then update md5 just in case and that's it now you can start modding and you want to get edit rocket right here to be able to you know edit the stuff up to make your own mod see right here crafting manager this is how you can make your own recipes for mods which I will show you how to make a new recipe in another video so that's about it